Hey YouTube family, welcome back to my channel and welcome to all of the new subscribers. I appreciate all of the love. Um, today is the first video of my slow cooker series. Um, it is balsamic brown sugar chicken with vegetables and potatoes. So here, before off camera, before I started recording, um, I thought the camera was on and it wasn't. I had added in um, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and a tablespoon of minced garlic to the bottom of the slow cooker. Then I added in a bag of the little potatoes and a bag of the baby carrots. And I just set them in there. You don't really have to mix them up. They'll mix up on their own. Um, and then I'm taking some thighs. And as you can see, my thighs are a little bit smaller. But I'm just washing them off and I'm taking the skin off. Taking the skin off is completely optional. It's all about what you prefer. I prefer my skin to be off for this meal. But if you wanted to leave it on, you can definitely do that. So um, another thing I'm doing here is I am just kind of going over the chicken and making sure there's not too much fat on there. Um, a little bit of fat is okay because I don't want to cut off the meat trying to get the fat off. Um, but I do try to, you know, get the majority of the fat off of the chicken. And then um, once I am done rinsing off the chicken and taking the skin off, I am going to season my chicken. I'm just leaving it in the sink because I'm going to wash my sink out. So don't worry about that. I wash my sink. <laughs> um, I'm just using a little bit of seasoned salt because I didn't want to put too much seasoning on there. Um, since we're going to be using that balsamic brown sugar mixture, which is what we are making next. Um, I'll have the actual measurements in the description box. But if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's a half a cup of brown sugar mixed with a half a cup of balsamic vinegar. But I will definitely check to make sure and put that in the description box um, down below. You don't add anything else in this. Um, it's just those two and you will just whisk it up really quickly so that you can add it on top of the chicken and all of the vegetables in your slow cooker. And it's a really good taste. The two go, to, go together very well. And I'm just mixing it up and then I'm going to add it over the chicken and potatoes and carrots and you just want to try to make sure that you distribute it evenly because um, it's hard to mix up um, once since you have everything in there so I just want to make sure that I get that evenly all over the chicken once you do that you'll just pop your lid on and cook it for about five hours on high you'd want to you know check and make sure because um, everybody's slow cooker is different so if yours runs a little hotter just kind of keep an eye on your chicken and stuff so I am setting my chicken to the side so that I can add in my um, green beans to cook and I'm going to cook them for about 30 to an hour longer and once um, that's done, then the whole meal should be done. So everything looks like it's cooking together nicely. It smells amazing. It'll have your whole house smelling like heaven. So once you add in your green beans, if your chicken is not soft enough for, or tender enough for your liking, you can add it back in. Um, since I had small thighs, my chicken was just about done, so I did add it in for a little bit, but I ended up taking it out before everything else was done, just because I didn't want my chicken to shred. I wanted to keep it, um, on the bone. I just wanted it to be tender, so I did put it back in there, but not for long. And it is done, and it is amazing. You can serve it with rice or anything of your choice. 
If you like this recipe and you want um, more like this, please leave a comment below. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate all the love. Thank you so much for watching my video.